you're the chief of police of Glendale, Colorado, that has the highest concentration of marijuana outlets, I guess you'd say, of any place in the nation, maybe. Certainly in Colorado. We have the busiest stretch of surface roadway in the state of Colorado, goes through the city of Glendale. Has it changed for the worse? Has it changed for the better? What's been the effect? In large part, the, the legalization of recreational use of marijuana has been very transparent to the city of, to the Glendale Police Department. We have not seen a substantial or measurable rise in uh, criminal activity associated with the uh, influx of those, uh, or the legalization of recreational marijuana. I know when I decided to support the legalization in Amendment 64, uh, it was certainly not a popular thing for me to do as a Republican and a conservative, but I did it as a Republican and a conservative because I was both of those things. What I had read about it earlier led me to believe that it was certainly safer than, let's say, alcohol and less dangerous for the police officer that intervenes in some sort of domestic dispute, let's say. Or the use of alcohol has, uh, contributes more to violent crime in the city of Glendale uh, than marijuana uh, by far. How about the biggest issue, the issue of people under the age of 21? I've seen a lot of really positive statistics recently in Colorado. Usage has actually declined slightly. We have not seen uh, an increase, certainly, in uh, crimes associated with people, uh, uh, individuals under the age of 21, uh, under the influence of marijuana. What we know, what we're absolutely sure of, is in for Glendale, Colorado, there has not been an increase in crime. I mean, we know that. In fact, it's going down, and that is an important, I think, a very important uh, point. Yeah, that is well said. So.